Banjo-Kazooie! 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 Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to more Banjo-Kazooie. Kazooie, get back in the kitchen! I never saw a bird in a backpack anyway. So anyway, last time, I was about to go into Freeze Easy Peak, but I completely forgot myself. Well, actually, didn't I actually mentioned it? Good for me. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to get this uh, witch, witch jiggy first, and to do that, we have to bust down this wall, a unique wall. I think you only see these like two times in Banjo Kazooie, and these are right here in these rooms, over in this uh, section of the lair. So we're gonna look around here. There are some waiting boots. I've learned this spell. It's really neat. I'll keep it later for your treats. For my treat? We don't want it. I think that's actually a final battle reference is the funny part. She does have a final spell, but I'll, I'll keep that towards later. Okay, bust down this wall. This is the one I was looking for all along. Kind of an ancient Egyptian chamber. And darker colored gruntlings, look out. Uh, later enemies are always darker colored because that apparently makes them stronger, but we don't care, do we? So there's a rotating shock spring jump pad. Let's go get that. And I pretty much think anybody can guess what's going to happen from here on out. Yeah, jump up on this if you time just right. And you should get into the urine. How do you say that without sounding sick? Anyway, you jump into the hat, land on the jiggy, and the bars open and block Banjo's face. Kind of shake the camera. We got the fifth jiggy in Gruntilda's lair. So now, I guess I can finally head out and get into Freeze Easy Peak like I know you guys have been waiting for. So I'll see you there. Hello everybody, we are at Freeze Easy Peak, and no, not yet. We have got to jump up and get this shock spring jump pad. I don't quite remember what was up here from last time I played this game. So I'm just going to kind of take what comes and try to... Go ahead. Ha! Don't think you can use these until you found out how. I didn't think I could. I mean, you don't usually think you can use things before you find out how unless you're one of those cocky people that thinks they can. Ow, Banjo just broke his leg. Even though we got an Ekum Bokum and that makes the whole day cool, Banjo still broke his leg. Too bad. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the best world in Banjo-Kazooie. A peak's got another new move waiting for you if you can find it. No thanks. Now the back what do you call the backgrounds in 3D games? The the backdrop has a really awesome look to it. The moon and the stars, it's just really cool. You should look up there with your up C button sometimes. What do we have here? Sad music, bratty kids? Wow, where's our present? Our dad bug said he was going to fix them. He said he's been gone ages. No, he's been gone ages. Wah! Ekum Bokum! I love Ekum Bokums, and I'm not paying attention to you kids. Mm. Banjo! If that wasn't the third time you've knocked into me. Okay, we are going down this cliff because I feel like it. Well, no. Roan, my stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Someone help, Horbo. Uh, apparently he ate a Jiggy. You know it's not a note or a mumbo token. Anyway, you can smash him as many times as you want. There's no getting it open. It open? I'm not trying to do surgery here, but... <laughs> okay, there's no way to get that Jiggy out is a better way to put it. Um, So, uh, we'll have to wait till later, and that's a different mystery. Is the water too cold for you, Banjo? Well, STAY OUT THEN! Dear oh dear, Icicles. Not very nice indeed. Sometimes I just don't get the voices in Banjo Kazooie. It's like everything hates Banjo. Poor Barry broke his leg and he's running on it. Mr. Battle! Time for some aerial action with my devastating beak bomb attack. Nice one, Goggles. Tell me more. When you're flying, press B to launch Kazooie at a target like a missile. Choose your targets carefully, though, as it costs a red feather each time you use it. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. You've learned all the moves I can teach you on this world now. Okay. Apparently, there is a danger of using the beak bomb because... We lose a feather! Yeah, right. Because if you miss, you can take some serious health damage. Especially here, where you'll probably end up in icy water, like that. 
And when that happens, it's not too pretty. Let's try to get on shore here. No, we're landing in the ice again. This looks too steep to get up, so I'm probably gonna die here. I want out! <laughs> I want out! Okay, finally. Honeycomb box. This is the one very few times, one of the very few times that Rare has been merciful. Because that was pretty close, and the honeycomb box was just... Whoa! That was close. I seem hyper today. Don't I? I mean, come on. What is with me? Okay, I'm gonna try my luck at shooting at this guy. Hopefully I get the aim just right. No, I hit him in the chin instead. Dodging these snowballs can get tedious sometimes. There we go. Hat knocks into the water and it reveals the witch switch. I didn't even know that I was... Oh, yes! I didn't even notice that I was getting that. Um, Under most of these guys is an Ecom Bokum. I know I'm pretty sure that's another LPR's joke. I shouldn't be using that. I heard it somewhere before. I forget the guy's name, but... Um, yeah. And under each of these is a mumble token, and sometimes special things like witch switches. And as you can see, that's where we just were. I opened up a little panel with the fly pad, so that's very, very good. We'll get to that next time in the next episode, probably right before we go to Crazy Easy Peak. Once again, so... Um... I'm gonna keep busting these snowmen to see what they yield me because they're very rich underneath. Mm. That sounded weird. Uh, I got a lot of money under. I don't know. Anyway, 46 feathers, 5 notes as it continues to show us. And we are taking a. <gasps> oh, yes! That was the best shot of the game. Let's see if I can. No, that was the best shot of the game, because it went off. I was off, and then it shot, and... Oh, I am so awesome sometimes. No, really, that was pretty cool, though. Oh, that was not so good. We ended up at the bottom of an icy lake, just barely got out. Uh, Mumbo Token. Yeah, 19. We, there are a ton of Mumbo Tokens in this world, I've got to say. Although I don't know why, because I'm pretty sure there were 10 in each world. I don't know why I keep saying there's a lot. I guess I just get them in such quick succession that it seems like a lot. Instead of kind of split up. Uh, over here is the one we busted, which is a honeycomb piece, which blends in well with the honeycomb piece. I've got to differentiate between those. I keep calling them the same thing. One is a health piece, and one is... Well, the other one kind of is too, so... You try to guess. You, you're the ones who have the visuals here. You should be able to do this. Apparently I can't get up here right now because this fly pad is placed, placed strategically high on the chimney. And I don't know why because really I should be able to get up. Whoops! Grandma fell off the roof drinking too much eggnog. Where did that joke come from? Oh. Probably Grandma got run over by a reindeer or something. So I'm gonna fame a song like that. Anyway, you notice this is Christmas themed. I would have gotten to this level before Christmas, but it's very hard to do LPs, guys, especially with my tight schedule. But don't worry, I'm I'm trying the best. At least I got in in winter and not summer. I'm hoping to get into the winter part of a later level. I'm not going to mention the name just in case. Uh, before winter ends, so that's kind of one of my goal lines. Not goal lines, I'm turning into football again. Actually, I think that's the first time. Anyway, I'm going off point once again. I got criticized for that. It was constructive criticism, though. What am I doing? I'm doing it again. Okay, I'm going to try to hit these buttons before anything else happens. And these buttons can be hit very well by people. Yeah, you try to figure that out. It's not my job. We just knocked against water. That is... That shouldn't even be physically possible, but we just did it. We bumped it against the water. Okay, this looks like it's a snowman, and he deserves to die, because all oh, snowmen don't deserve to live. In case you were wondering, you gotta hit him up. Apparently, that would be against the game rules or something. Because you gotta play fair with snowmen. Okay, he's dead. Finally, so. Oh, that was kind of right. I can't exactly... Can't exactly see what that was, but depending um, on the cutscene, the way it looked, I think it was a jiggy. And yeah, there it is. 
It's just the screen angle. For some reason, I couldn't see that. Uh, you guys could probably see it more clearly. I have no idea, but I'm just going to take these two out with Wonder Wing. And then go ahead and grab the Jiggy, because I am Jiggy hungry. Wahoo. Gulp. First Jiggy eating chills. Jiggies are always better chills. You know they always tell you that with Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts are always better chills. Put them in the freezer. Try out, out this flavor and all that. But Jiggies are really good chilled too, you know? Gold gets pretty cold. I that rhymed. Okay, what I'm gonna do is try to drop right into the pipe! I think I'm dead. I'm gonna be dead, I'm gonna be dead, I'm gonna be dead! Broke his neck! See you later. We are back! Not like we went anywhere. We're very scared of this world now. Our best world note score is seven! I can whoop that anytime. Grown, last time I gave. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Somebody. Dude, don't talk too fast. You can really get something caught in your throat. Oh. Okay. No, that was not faked, by the way. I'm gonna go around the right side and cut right to the chase instead of having near death experiences. It's too bad that all the snowmen are back because I was kinda looking forward to getting them all out of the way because they're really dangerous, you know, and all that. I'm gonna try my luck at button hitting once again. That should take care of that one. And the second one we hit the C mode, but not really. We didn't nail it head on. And that's not gonna work either. Hopefully I don't waste all my- oh no. Feathers. I was about to say health, but yeah, that's not good either. Crash landing. And if that wasn't bad enough, we have people trying to throw things at us. Let's try to gather all these feathers, or ten. I think that's enough to lift us off into the air enough to smash all those. But of course it uses a feather each time you do it. Remember! Sorry to say. Oh, boy, that'll hit. That was close. Bang! That's number three. Oh! More pooping out gold. Come on, guys. You guys at Rareware, you're just having too much fun. That poor snowman must have had indigestion. There seems to be a trend around here, eating jiggies. Kazooie, Boggy, the snowman. They all like chilled jiggies. Some kind of trend, just like dubstep or something. Grabbing it for the second jiggy of fun. Now, um, I'm going to fill up on feathers here and head to the top of the snowman. Well, not the top of the snowman. Actually, I'm going to do it the old manual way. I am going to climb. Um, before I do it, that was pretty amazing. I just shattered everything in one hit. Before I do anything else, I am going to go up the scarf way. You'll notice there are a whole bunch of red feathers and notes aligning here in their respective colors. Watch out the low requ quality I'm recording it. You can't really see anything. The notes are kind of easy to see, because they have an outlining of some sort. But the feathers, they're blind to me. I'm serious, I can't see anything here. But since we do need more feathers, I'm going to try to my best to grab them. I know they're in the middle, so... It would have been cooler if they would have reversed it, like notes on red and feathers on yellow. That would have been the coolest. Okay, as you can see, there's a couple openings in the logs of his pipe and mouth. Or mustache, I think that's what it's supposed to be. There's a couple openings in there. Um, don't touch the sled yet. We'll be using that later. Walk out on the pole to get to the end of the pipe. And he's smoking gold. So that'll be our third JP. And now, I'm going to take the sled because I'm bored. The present up there we'll use later. Whoa! Hey, a mumbo token. And if you couldn't already guess. Oh, you just vomited a jiggy. That's better. Hey, you found my sled. I'll go and practice for the big race now. Buddy. Sounds like all you guys on YouTube. Hey, buddy! Boom. Trips me. And that's all the thanks I get. Look at this jiggy. It's just in the wall. He just threw it into the wall. No respect for anything. So, this has been Freezy to Peak, the first episode. I am Flash Flare. And I don't think I announced myself at the beginning. I will see you guys later when I take on the second episode. See you guys then.